time. Did you ever ask yourself what the special Dikov experience will be like in 2050? I found myself intrigued by this question. Special Dikov scene has evolved rapidly over the last 10 years. So, out of curiosity, I did a small survey. I reached out some coffee professionals around the globe, seeking their insights and predictions. It was really fun reading some sci-fi scenarios, but I kept only the realistic ones for this time. And it seems that climate change, sustainability, and technology will be three unavoidable factors. I am Nick. Please have a sip of water, get comfortable, and let's start, my friends. Our first course will be the espresso, and it's going to represent the climate change. In the future, we're going to need varieties that can adapt to new weather conditions and keep producing high-quality coffees, right? So I found this Colombian wushus from Finca El Placer in the upcoming region of Quindillo. There. Sebastian Ramirez, an inspiring producer, grows this coffee at 1,800 meters. This altitude allows my coffee to develop tropical flavors and the velvety texture you will experience later on. Now you will ask, Nick, why Woosh Woosh? Woosh Woosh shows incredible adapting skins, skills against the climate change. So I couldn't find more representative variety for my presentation today that shines through Sebastian's innovative process. I will extract my signature doses in order to cool them down, and we go on. After he's hand-picked the cherries, they are placed in large containers to start fermentation for 50 hours. There, the temperature is going up to 50 degrees. Kick start the breakdown of the sugars, giving my coffee high intensities and sweetness that reminds me raspberry. After this, the cherries are soaked in water to remove the floaters. This, sure, this step ensures that there is no undesirable microorganisms, highlighting the clarity more. The peeling process follows, where the skin is extracted from the, from the cherries. The juice, correction. Then the juice is combined with the peeled cherries in plastic bottles with lactobacillus to ferment for 144 hours, resulting a herbal finish in my coffee. All this before he dries evenly for 21 days. In a dark room with control, humidity, and temperature for a harmonious cup, which I will maximize today its potential with my recipe, that is, 20 grams, 22 grams in and 42 grams out. So you will experience, please write down, <coughs> flavors, passion fruit, raspberry, and eucalyptus. And a hint of strawberry. The taste is going to be medium sweetness, high tropical acidity, and low but pleasant bitterness. Now I will serve you. Don't drink yet. Evaluate the crema until I'm back for you. The body is medium, juicy, that turns to velvety, as I mentioned before. 
And the finish is sweet. Sorry. And herbal. Now, please allow me to stir your espressos because I want you only to enjoy them. When I finish with all of them, go on and enjoy. Then, get ready for our second course, which is the milk beverage. Enjoy. Are you ready to move forward? Our second course will represent sustainability. Sebastian grows this coffee organic and sustainable. He is feeding the coffee plants with organic hummus from the coffee waste as a natural fertilizer. And instead of, uh, instead of pesticides, he planted citronellas around the farm, ensuring healthy crops and sustainable farming. Also recently, I met Mr. Herzl, a local dairy farmer who follows the same principles. His free roaming cows are producing this 4% fat milk that naturally has high sweetness. That I distill. I freeze distilled to reduce it about 20% to improve this natural sweetness. But I replaced this water loss with coconut milk. To keep the sweetness high, avoid concentration of the salt, and complement the tropical character of my coffee. And now, by adding 60 ml in each of your cups, you will find, please write down, berry yogurt, mousse chocolate, and hints of coconut, with a creamy texture. Here you are. I roasted my coffee using only renewable energy sources, contributing the climate friendly. There you are. My coffee was roasted for 11 minutes total time highlighting sweetness and the flavor clarity. And all that, enjoy Jonas. 16 days ago, in order to reach its peak today, just for you. So, Please enjoy and get ready for our last and my favorite course.
So let's summarize. Don't worry. I have the cards in front of you that after when you finish, feel free to take them with you. All the notes are there. So in our first course, we talked about the climate change. You can find all the information, as I told you, on my cards, and about this unique whoosh whoosh variety that I'm going to use four shots, HTML for your signature base. Then, inspired from the fermentation of the coffee, I fermented red berries with 1% of salt to replicate the lactic fermentation. Here, the organic acids will complement the acidity of my signature drink, and it will give a melon flavor. Then I add 30 ml of it. In our second course, we talked about sustainability. In order to avoid waste, I took spent packs, and by adding equal amount of sugar and water, that's a demonstration, and it takes time. I took a coffee oleozaccharum that I milk wash it to clarify it and give more texture to my signature beverage and sweetness. 15 ml of this. And final, I have goose goose flowers, and I made a cold brew by using 100 grams, and I cool it for 24 hours. So, I will merge them all together. And please write down, you will find flavors of cantaloupe melon, milk chocolate. and red cherry. I'm sure my signature beverage can take you straight to the coffee farms. But in order to enhance this experience with the power of technology, when I call my time, I want you to take this headset, put them on, adjust the eye distance in order to see crystal clear. Then press the play button, watch the short video, and then enjoy my signature beverage. But before that, future of coffee holds promise and innovation. I'm very positive about that. Please, go on, press play, and then enjoy time. Oh. So, Nick, please. what's my time? <laughs> please up front. <laughs> Nick, come over quickly up front to the stage, please. Oh, around. I have different instructions. <laughs> all, all good, all good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> a big applause for Nick. That's the biggest crowd I ever had. Live. So they seem that they enjoyed that, right? A big relief. Excuse me? A relief. Oh, <laughs> you cannot imagine. <laughs> you cannot imagine. Yeah. Yep. It's a big relief, actually. It felt an eternity up there. So I think uh, for the ones, or for the people who gestern not talk, they sind gestern had the overtime car today. No, <laughs> I, I manage a lot. That goes the, the two sides, right? Extreme two sides. OK, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Should I say something about well, my coffee? I, 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 about let's, my let's jump into uh, what are they doing right now? Because maybe it looks funny for the yeah. audience, but what are they actually enjoying right now? Yeah. With hopefully, the hopefully. 
It's pretty fun. Never managed to watch the video, right? <laughs> genau, also ihr seht, auch da, das geht weit aus, über einfach nur gerade Standard, sondern die ähm, Jury hat jetzt gerade das Vergnügen, äh, VR-Realität äh, sozusagen auf einer Kaffeeform zu erleben und hat jetzt das als Teil von der Show noch zelebriert. Ich glaube, der Nick geht kurz gegen Tschüss sagen, dann noch eine Darf man dann sicher noch mal kurz Which way schwätzen? This way? <lacht> Which way Und dementsprechend geht es dann noch eine, aber auch schon Schlag auf Schlag weiter. Weil wir sehen hier einen, der Dario ist auch schon in seiner Präparationszeit. Sprich, er startet noch eine ganz in die Latte Arts Competition, wo er dann wiederum den Schweizer Meistertitel wird kämpfen. Wir sind extrem gespannt. Wir hören dann vielleicht noch no, no. einen Satz oder zwei beim Nick zu. Und schauen mal, schauen, was er dann noch so zu berichten hat über seine Kaffees. Aber er möchte natürlich nicht verpassen, um der Jury dann auch Tschüss zu sagen, weil das gehört sich halt auch in dieser Competition und ist ein wichtiger Bestandteil von dieser Geschichte. Wir haben hier gesehen, da ist also wirklich äh, viel los war beim Nick, haben wir gesehen, eben tolle Espressi Milchgetränk, was eben nicht nur Milch heutzutage ist, sondern man darf auch alternative Milchgetränke oder eben pflanzliche Trink verwenden, um die Kreationen zu machen, weil man soll ja da auch mit dem Trend mitgehen und eben Kuhmilch ist nicht mehr nur Pflicht, bei diesen Getränken. So, und die Jury ist jetzt gerade noch bei den letzten Prüfungen. Wie gesagt, da wird nichts dem Zufall überlassen. Auch die prüfen die kleinsten Details. Es wird diskutiert jetzt auch gerade da. Hm? Also es heisst, man will sicherstellen, dass alles fair bewertet worden ist, weil die sogenannten Bewertungsbögen münd fertig ausgefüllt sein von der Jury, darum brauchen die auch immer relativ lange noch, um eben all die kleinsten Details wirklich aufzuschreiben und sicherzustellen, dass nichts verpasst worden ist. So, und die Jury ist jetzt in dem Moment fertig und verabschiedet sich. Und jetzt würde ich sagen, Nick! Bravo, Nick! Nick, now we have some more room yeah, I think and so. you can relax a bit more. So Now I'm us. relieved, I can tell you whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> the last checks. 076 497. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But tell us a bit more. What was the idea behind that show? Uh, the idea came out of nowhere. I was helping a friend of mine because he was competing in another uh, competition for the world class. It is a mixologist competition. A, a very high level, and uh, that was one month ago that I didn't know what to do. I was thinking to withdraw from the championship, and then I was like, okay, future of uh, gastronomy, future of uh, cocktails, okay, future of coffee. Did you ever thought, like, what the specialty coffee experience, like you personally, would be in 2050? Oh, yeah. Like, that's far. Yeah. In the last 10 years, we have so much innovation, right? Imagine this far. That, that's all I could imagine. Like I, with some help of uh, some baristas that I know from other continents, other countries. Then I had this, I found this coffee that it was like uh, amazing. Thanks, thanks Nico Sanzaras from uh, Greece. He roasted my coffee, this amazing whoosh whoosh, very clean. I was like, okay, I will put everything together. Then I had a small struggle with my video. The 3D video is, um, the 360 degrees video is something very tricky to calibrate and uh, make a presentation out of it. It came late. It came two days before the presentation, the first round. Mm -hmm. Good. And it was tight, tight for me, very okay. tight. So, once I count again. on my experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see now. We'll wait. The big wait is now ahead. Couple of hours to go. Yeah. Relax yeah. well. Now, um, like, a, like a leaf, feel very good. Great. So, 
once more. Thanks a lot for sharing this experience with Thank us. You. Big Thank applause, you Nick Spadunakis!